reports. On the second half of the program, we will be introducing the Nowecker, the new Nowecker Student Council and their teacher representative, Kathy Kaczynski. Leadership and responsibility is no easy chore. And those, whether they're young or old, that make that commitment have a responsibility and a dedication. And it's something all of us should welcome and be honored to serve those who we represent. Mrs. Kaczynski, thank you for taking out time. Thank you, Mr. Bell. We're delighted to, to be Rose here. Roseland Reports. You have such a lovely group of representatives. Aren't they wonderful? From Noecker School all women. and Roseland. <laughs> Well, having four daughters myself, uh, I can appreciate the time that these young ladies yes, are taking do. out. Let's start off with you. What is your name? My name is Gwen Kruger, and I'm the student council president of Noacker School. And Gwen, what grade are you in? I'm in sixth grade. You're in the sixth grade. What is your name? Cheryl Feely, and I'm in sixth grade also. And, and what is your president. position? You're I'm the vice president. president. And your name? I'm Katie Kelly, and I'm the treasurer, and I'm in sixth grade. And? And I'm um, Dana Cardinale, and I'm the secretary, and I'm in fifth grade. Kathy, uh, and I call you Kathy because I, I know you very, very well. How did this organization come about, and what decision was made in order to establish a student council at Nowecker? Uh, when Dr. Bernatica first uh, came as our uh, new principal, um, he asked each of its staff members the kinds of things that they felt that they would like to see in their school. And in meeting with him, I felt that we had a need for a student council. Having had a daughter go through the junior high and high school at West Essex, I felt it very important that the youngsters have some type of leadership responsibilities. We had never had one at Noecker, and I knew that our children were certainly capable of having an organization like that. And he was very receptive, as was uh, Mr. Tonight, Corbo and our Roseland Board of Education. And from that, uh, they allowed me to be the advisor and begin formulating uh, the student council. And perhaps the girls can tell you how we went about creating uh, the student council and how they were elected as officers. Well, that's a good question. and. Very briefly, what I want you to do is tell our viewers and the residents why you selected this position. Let's start with you, Ms. President. Well, I thought that being president would help me in the future to, you know, be, you know, be a leader. And I thought that, you know, I wanted to be the president. And I thought that was, you know, the kind of job that I would be good at for the school. How many... Uh, how many uh, other candidates did you run against? Um, I believe there were three other candidates. Three other candidates? And p perhaps you can tell Mayor DeBell, uh, what, what did you have to do in order to be elected, Gwen? Well, I had to give a speech. I had to, um, you know, I handed out flyers. I talked to the, the other students in the school, and I told them my ideas, like, person to person. And, you know, I... I made posters and that kind of Well, good for you, Ms. President. Um, I wanted to be Vice President because I knew it was a strong leadership um, responsibility, and I thought that it was important that someone as strong as Gwen, like a president, would need always someone to back her up. So that's why I wanted to be the Vice President. Weren't you on my program once before? Yeah. <laughs> what uh, what uh, position, what was the event that you uh, appeared on, on Rosalie Reports before? I think before? I had to read something about that. Yeah, I had to read... Um, why Thanksgiving was important to me. I wrote an essay. Oh. And you, um, Katie? Um, Katie. I wanted to be treasurer because I felt, because I like to work with money and I knew that I could help out the school and Gwen and Cheryl. I, I would like just Katie to tell you, Mayor, her closing line in her speech <laughs> to the student body that allowed her to be elected. Tell them, Katie. Look at this face. Wouldn't you trust me with your money? <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, let me get some money out of here. <laughs> and your name. Um, I wanted to be secretary because um, I knew that it would be hard for me and it would be a challenge for me to write the minutes and take notes at every meeting. So it would be a, more of a challenge, and I knew I'd like the job. Well, I want to compliment and congratulate all four of you because 
Uh, you're in a, posi a position of leadership, like you said, and you have a responsibility. And now is the time that you take out and you learn about those responsibilities and what it means to be a leader with your peers. As mayor, I know a lot of times that it's difficult as a leader in the community uh, that I have to make decisions and I have certain responsibilities uh, that I look over for the residents of the community. So now what you're doing in your position is looking over your responsibilities and taking care of your students and the students at Nowecker School. When there was an election, uh, did you pass out a lot of literature and was it by secret ballot? Um, yes, I think so. Uh, we yes, had, it was by secret, secret ballot. ballot. We had a mock ballot and we like, Mrs. Kaczynski, I think, right, made up the ballots and they like had like little boxes where you could check them off and then it was basically, yeah, it was secret. Mm -hmm. Now that the four of you are here, all right, and you're the leaders in your school, what programs or what objectives and aims? Ms. President, this is your staff. What are the four of you going to do and what do you have in mind for Nowhere School as the student representatives? Well, um, what, one of our main things is, you know, recycling because that's an issue of like the 90s and we need to you know get the school into a recycling program and um, basically that's the one thing that we're really aiming at the recycling program for our school. And I think Cheryl has Cheryl's in charge of our as our vice president of some special committees and I think she'd like to share some information with you that, yeah. that she has maybe. Um, Rainbow Promotions they um, sent us this wheel and they asked us to improve hold it. On, hold, on. hold it up. Cheryl. They asked us to this, to this camp. They asked us to improve it because they thought that we would like, we were so inquired about it, Mrs. Kaczynski had called, and they thought that we were really curious about what we could do. So it's like a little wheel, and it just says like what you can use instead of like the toxic and harm harmful things to this environment. And we have a committee that is going to, um, that is going to be working on that. And they also sent us eco pencils. And we have asked the Board of Education to purchase some of these. And hopefully they will. We're not sure, though. And um, they're made out of recycled paper. And we think that, that would be good for the school to have. Ms. Treasurer, mm -hmm. are there dues that someone has to pay? And where do you uh, get your money to spend on the various projects that you might have in mind? When our council started out, we received a $50 donation from HSA, and then as a result of our fundraiser um, folder sale, we sold 150 folders and we made $60. So in our treasury now, we have $110. And you're still looking for more money, though, so yeah. tell your viewers that if they want to <laughs> send in money, yes. uh, they can address it to you at Noecker School for a worthwhile project. Ms. Secretary, there's something that you wanted to discuss. Um, in your pamphlet to tell our viewers um, and if you wanted to show your position is very important in administrative capacity why don't you explain that Dana well since I'm in charge of writing all the letters I thought it would be important to show everybody our letterhead and we had to make it up with different pieces of paper and it says our school motto we care about what we do and it says no student council mm -hmm. and she also has a folder uh, mayor that was distributed to each of our uh, officers, which I was able to acquire from our student council uh, organization, uh, detailing each of the youngsters' responsibilities. As well, of our, as well as our four officers, we have two representatives from each homeroom, and we have an advisory committee and a historian. So we, in, total, in total, we have about 32 youngsters that I work with directly involved uh, with the council. We have uh, another uh, two projects that we are working on, and um, we have a contest. Would one of you like to tell uh, the mayor and his viewers about the contest that we're doing, Cheryl? Did you want to? Well, um, it's, it's called the Little Green Seba Sebastian Contest, and what it is, if you, you have to send essays in, or like paintings, sculptures, pictures of mm -hmm. them, all essays have to be done on recycled paper, and you send them to the we um, have a special place to send them, and our youngsters, right, are And involved. we're um, sending it there, and the grand prize is to go to the Amazon tropical rainforest. So, we're going to take a break, 
and then we're going to come back for the conclusion. Just as a reminder, this is municipal youth time in the month of May, mm -hmm. and the Roseland Borough Council will be hosting those achievers that are in high school, that are residents and students in Roseland. And mm -hmm. they'll be announced very, very shortly. We'll be right back after this brief message. Welcome back to Roseland Reports for the conclusion of our program with the four lovely student officers and their teacher representative from Noecker School. I want to thank all of you for taking out the time, and I know you wanted to rather be in school, <laughs> but you had an announcement that uh, uh, yes. you wanted to make. Katie, Katie. Mayor, on behalf of our student council, we would like to present you with our environmental t-shirts that we're selling. Oh, thank you very much, We Katie. hope you enjoy it. And this is something, as far as one of the projects, to protect their environment, and they're very, very concerned. And I wish that you would help them and protect your environment. It's very, very important. In thinking of that, I just want to wish everybody a healthy and happy holiday. This is our Uncle Sam. Memorial Day will be coming up, so please have a safe, healthy, and happy holiday. And for those residents that live adjacent to Route 280, uh, I am doing everything I can for the residents of Roseland and Livingston adjacent to Route 280 to have the installation of noise barriers, which is another environmental hazard that is being caused by excessive traffic and noise pollution. So in keeping with that theme, uh, Roseland will be looking forward to, uh, to having the noise barriers. Thank you. Thank Kathy, you. here's your, your Roseland Frisbee. We ran it. recently had a recreation Halloween poster contest. It's my privilege tonight to introduce the winners of that costume contest. With us tonight are three lovely residents of Roseland who are the costume contest winners. And we're going to start with you. I don't know your name, so why don't you tell me your name? Jackie Decker. Jackie, what is your costume? Pinocchio. And why did you select Pinocchio? Mm. Because you like him, right? <laughs> and how old are you? Seven. And what grade are you in? Second. Well, congratulations. And you won which poster uh, costume contest, Jackie? Mm. Seventh, uh, the seventh what? Second. Second grade? All righty. And what is your name? Alex. Alex what? Canara. Speak up a little, Alex. Canara. And what is your uh, costume about? Um, a knight. A knight? And how old are you? Six. You're six years old? And what grade are you in? First. You're in the first grade? Why did you select that costume? Um. Because you like to be a knight in shining armor, right? All right, see? And what is your name? Aurélie Soulier. You want to speak up? What is it? Aurélie Soulier. And what, that's a lovely costume. How old are you? Eleven. Eleven. And what grade are you in? Sixth. Sixth. Why don't you tell us about that costume? Did you make that yourself? Well, I helped, my mom did it and I helped her. And what is that, what's that costume called? A uh, California Raisin. Oh, boy. Did you and your mom make that hat by yourself? Yeah. You did. Now, you know that we celebrated Halloween. This was a couple of weeks ago. And because this is our holiday show, we're bringing you back on, even though it's after Halloween, and we're going to have you meet with Santa. So what I want you people to think of, all right, is what you're going to say to Santa, and he's our Roseland Santa, when he comes on with you later on. Do you think that's fair? Yeah. I have one question. What was your prize? Um, your, treat. 
You got money? And what was your prize? Money. And what is your prize? Fifteen dollars to Toys R Us. The Toys R Us. They Did everybody spend their money? No. no not yet. You still have it? Yeah. All right. We're going to take a break, and then we're going to come back and have you back on at the later part of the As you know, Roseland is a small community, but politically active. In keeping in with tradition, No Ecker School, which is the grade school in Roseland, recently started a new program with the Student Council Government. With us tonight are the 1993-94 Student Council officers. Also with us is Superintendent of the No Ecker School, Nicholas Corbo, and a teacher who is in charge of the program, Kathy Kaczynski. Welcome to Roseland Reports. And you should be very, very proud when you win an election. It's no easy task uh, to be responsible for your peers. But before we go into what the elections were about, let's introduce everyone. What is your name? Dana Cardinal. And what is your position, Dana? President. And how old are you? Eleven. And you're in what grade? Sixth. All right, Madam President. And what is your name? Stephanie Bittman. And how old are you, Stephanie? Eleven. And what grade are you in? Sixth. And you're the vice president? Yes. And your name? Vanessa Amordino. And how old are you? Eleven. And <laughs> what grade are you in? I told you before you could <laughs> laugh. I didn't mind if you laugh. Now, wait, we left off. What grade are you in? You can Six. laugh. <laughs> Sixth grade? Now, you sat there nice and quiet on the floor. What is your name? Now, speak <laughs> up. Amy Clara. And what grade are you in? Fifth. And what is your position? Secretary. Your secretary. All right. Now, all of you are here. You ran in an election. <laughs> that's all right. Now, who's going to tell me that's not laughing what the election was about? Okay. Well, you want to tell me? Okay. All right. I'll give you two seconds before you start laughing again. <laughs> okay. Um... Well, everybody had um, four days to campaign before the election. Right. And the election was on a Thursday, and we made the speeches on Monday. And if you wanted to give out campaign stuff, you could hand it to the teachers in the morning. And it was really good to campaign because it helped you get a lot of votes. And on Thursday, everybody went into the room, and it was a secret valid vote, and um, everybody got a chance to vote. Did everyone have a campaign slogan? or you just put your name uh, up on posters. Did you have any posters for the yeah, election? Some people had um, campaigns. I didn't have one because I was running unopposed. So. You were running unopposed? Let me ask you a question. Now, uh, No Ecker School, all right, has males and females. <laughs> were there any boys that ran they for election? They were running, but they didn't win. <laughs> so in other words, you're, still, you're following tradition of the state of our newly elected governor who is Christy Whitman for the first time. We're having a female governor. So what I'm seeing here is a, a, a start of dominance in the yes. political arena. Yes. By the way. <coughs> Second year in a row, Mayor. Last year we had an all-female campaign. Well, I have four daughters, and I can understand the authority that they have in my house, and this is a carryover into, into the school. Superintendent Corbo, you must be proud at this point to have such great students take an interest in the political system of our community. Uh, what is your reaction in terms of, of this program? Uh, we're very pleased with the turnout, uh, the interest in the campaigning. They brought out creativity in their speeches and their slogans. Uh, it, it was uh, intensified as the days went on. And uh, the end result, uh, we have a strong student government body. Last year, they came up with many ideas that were helpful, some nice projects, and we just recently finished one for this past Thanksgiving. Well, Mrs. Kaczynski, what is your part in, in this program? Uh, my part is uh, the advisor, the faculty advisor. Uh, I serve as the coordinator. What I try to do is to step back and allow the youngsters to really formulate uh, their own concerns, uh, problems that they have, they bring 
to the group. We have a, a number uh, of 36 youngsters involved, two per classroom, and each youngster goes back into their homeroom and comes then uh, to uh, express their concerns. And I really am just a mediator for the youngsters. Well, it's a great program, and uh, I'm going to ask each officer what their issue is that they feel is important very briefly in the school. We'll start with you, Madam President. What issue are you going to represent as the leader of the student council at Nowhere School? Is there one particular issue that you feel that you want to become more involved in? Well, basically, our school doesn't really do like a recycling program. Uh -huh. So this year, I'd like to try to get some more things for recycling, maybe like a bin for outside, like to throw our garbage in. So you think that's, that's a, an important issue? So that's something, Superintendent Corbo, that uh, you could take into consideration? Madam Vice President. I feel that caring and sharing is a good thing to have in the school. So we did a program yesterday on where we gave goods to the needy. That's good. Um, I also agree with Dana. I think that it's good that we recycle and we um, care about our earth and what we do with it. So you're environmentally conscious. And, you know, mm -hmm. what was what is your position in terms of how you going to take care of all the uh, the monies? No, I, I'm the secretary. The secretary? And I wrote down the minutes and what happens at the meetings. And I think that we should have picnic tables outside so that we can have that we can eat outside sometimes. Not all the time, but see, we whenever we um, eat on hot days, the auditorium gets so over hot and stuffy, and people are yelling and screaming, and it's I can't. Well, I want to thank all of you for being here. And if you could, Madam President, why don't you read the button on my lapel to everyone, what it says that Norwalker School stands for. Norwalker School, we care about what we do, and it has our school sign the owl on it. Thanks very much. We'll be right back after this brief message with Roseland's Sam. So don't go away. To Roseland reports. As I said in the beginning, this is a special holiday program. And as you can see, there are a lot of participants celebrating Roseland's holiday season with me on Roseland's Report. We have with us this evening a very, very distinguished and well-known guest, Roseland's Santa. Santa is part of Roseland's recreation program and what Roseland does each year has a program of the lighting of the trees. And then we have Santa visit with all the kids sponsored by the Roseland Junior Women's Club. So tonight with us is Roseland's Santa. Santa, for the first time, welcome to Roseland Reports. Ho, 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 ho. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Welcome. And I know that it's hot under the lights, and we're all excited about the holiday season. And I'm going to ask you if you have any particular message for the people and the children of Roseland that you feel is important for them to know for the holiday season. Well, I'll tell you, Mayor. It's a great time of the year, and everyone should enjoy themselves. I wish nothing but joy for all of Roseland, from Abriel to Zachary. All of them should have a great Christmas. Do you have a lot of gifts in your bag? I haven't got any bag. I'm working on it. But you look like you've been working on it. Oh, that good. bag. Well, I can tell you that. <laughs> you look like you're working pretty good. Why don't we focus our attention uh, on the children, and we're going to see what gift they look forward to receiving for the holidays or from their parents. But there must be something special that all of us want for the holiday season coming into 1994 and the New Year. So what do you think the best gift for 1994 would be? Let's start with you. What do you think you should, you'd like to have in 1994? What should Santa bring you? A boomba. A what? A boomba. A boom box. Are you sure? Well, I think my elves are working on one of those. So you'll be sure and write 
and give me your right address, okay? All right, we'll and see what we can Pinocchio, do. And Pinocchio, what about you? Mm, a CD player. A CD player? What's a CD player? Santa doesn't know all this. You play CDs on it. <laughs> you do? Is that music? Yeah. Oh, on the, on, the, on the television? No. Oh, on, where do you play it? You play it with a little disc, and you listen to it, right? Oh. So that's Santa. Well, I'll make sure that my elves make a few. How many did you want? One. Just one? Well, that ought to be easy enough. All right. Now we have the Shining Knight. And you know what you do? Rather than look at Santa, you look straight at the camera so we know what you're going to do. We could look at you on the monitor. What gift would you like for 1994? Mm. You don't want coal. What do you think that you would like to have in 1994? Is there anything special that you're looking forward to, to having? No? You're just taking your chance, right? All right, let's turn to the older folks, Santa, and we're not going to ask what Santa's going to bring them. We're just going to say what they think they would like to have for themselves in 1994, because now they're a little older, so we're going to exclude Santa from the gift giving on this segment. What would you like to have in 1994 well, for the new year? What would you like to have for 1994? A radio. Just any old radio? Well, with a CD player. And speak up. What would you like? You, you want something in 1994, the new year, right? Um, You're going to look forward to something in 1994. I want a new phone and TV. And what about you? Um, a dog. A dog. A new oh, dog. Wow. Now, I'm coming back to you, Santa. All right. well, I can tell you what I want. <laughs> well, I, know I want some are. cookies and milk <laughs> at every place. <laughs> and chocolate chips, my favorite. Oh, well, oh. let's you'll look get at them for me. good, <laughs> and you'll get what you have on your list, Santa. I'll remember. Let me ask you this, Santa. <clears throat> I want to have a message from you, as far as Roseland as a community. Let's look at what their needs are. Have you evaluated that in your travels when you're traveling through the sky? What Roseland? you could help Roseland and what we should look for for 1994? I can tell you this, Roseland's got to help Santa. Getting to Roseland is more and more difficult every year. There's more and more traffic. I can't find my way through. And of course, Rudolph and I aren't as young as we used to be. And Rudolph's nose is not as bright as it used to be. So I'd like to see that Eisenhower Parkway come along okay, and get that Santa. traffic moving. Thanks very much. Huh? Happy holidays. Have a safe and healthy happy holiday. Thanks for being with us. Good happy night. Holidays. Merry Christmas. Ho, ho, ho.